Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. In this video, we will learn how to design barcodes. In the main menu, go to Reports Queries, Item Reports, then Barcode Labels Printing. Click on Configuration on top left of the screen. Give a name to the configuration. There is a wide range of print options available here. Let us understand a few of them. Select each unit here to attach a report of conversion factor type with the purchase of each unit. Tick this option to generate barcode for free units in a purchase bill. This option allows you to give a barcode to every piece of item purchased. There are many other print options. You can use them as per your requirements. Now go to General Options. Select logicbarcode.net as external software for labels. Select data source type as embedded. Choose other options as per your needs. In the user column options, select item directory path as default. You can also choose user defined path. Tick the rates that you want to display on the barcode in an encrypted form. Then, save the configuration. You can print item-wise barcodes, purchase or sale voucher-wise barcodes, or stock-wise barcodes. Let us look at voucher-wise barcodes. Select a purchase voucher from the search window. Items in the selected purchase voucher will appear along with other details such as quantity, rates, etc. Let us select one item from this voucher. You can select as many as you need. Now click on Create. If you click on Yes, barcodes will be printed. Clicking on No will open the design window. Click on New to design new barcode. Give a name to the barcode label. Select the unit of measurement and enter the height and width of the barcode sticker. This is the sticker to be designed. Click on Save or Save As to save the new configuration. Now click on Data Source. Select DBF as Data Source. Now browse the item directory file in the barcode folder of the short name of your firm. If the table doesn't appear in the drop down list, you can type it manually. Now let us do page setup. First of all, select the printer. Then select the appropriate page size. Unit of measurement can also be chosen between inches, centimeter or millimeter. Then choose the spacing and margins as per your requirements. Advanced Settings tab provides you some more options. You can decide the overall quality of the barcode. Higher the quality, the longer it will take to process and print the barcode. You can also choose the color scheme. The last two options are suitable in case of large number of barcode labels. Let us now start designing the barcode. The Insert tab has various options that can be added to the barcode design. Choose text box to insert text to the barcode. Right click on the text box to change its properties. 
you can choose different font styles, sizes and other effects. The Data Source tab allows you to decide the source of the text. The drop-down list has five sources. The first one is a fixed value. This means that you can give any fixed name to the text box. Enter the fixed value text here. It will start appearing on the blank sticker in this way. Keep adding more text boxes as per your requirements. Choose the font styles and sizes. Then move to data source. The second source is database field. This option lets you choose from the drop-down list of database fields. For example, if we choose item name here, the name of selected item will appear in the text box. The third source is Visual Basic Script. This is an advanced method for scripting language through which you can add value to your barcode design. You can use these fields to create a script as per your requirements. The fourth source is User Defined Prompt. This is used when the user has to provide additional data manually. Go to Setup Prompt. Enter the title and message. There are three types of prompt input. Select any one based on your needs. Prompt for every label means title and message will appear for every label. This is how the message will be prompted at the time of printing or print preview. You can enter the value here. The entered value will appear in the barcode. This option is usually used in FMCG business where you have to enter use before date. The last source is in line script. This option allows you to design formulas which are used to add value to the barcodes. To start with a formula, insert a bracket. Then choose a value from the list of fields by double-clicking on it. Then insert a symbol and a value. And close the bracket. So this formula means that 10 rupees will be added in the MRP of the item. Let us check the original MRP of the item by inserting the database field of MRP. The MRP is 470 rupees. So the inline script is showing the correct value by adding 10 rupees to 470. You can also add pictures in the barcode. To insert an image, click on the image option in the insert bar. Right click on the image and go to properties. Browse the image from your system. The image will be inserted. Now adjust it accordingly. Last but not the least, click on the barcode option to insert the barcode picture. You can resize it as per your needs. Right click on it to go to properties. You can select the code type as per your requirements. There is a wide variety of code types available. Code 128 is a very high density barcode symbiology. It is used for alphanumeric or numeric only barcodes. You can select to show text on barcode or remove this tick as per your need. There are other details that you can modify or change in your barcode like its color, size, length, height, etc. Similarly, you can choose the font style, size of the text, color properties, 
and other effects. Now select Source as Database Field. Select the database field to be shown in the barcode. For example, you can choose lot code or item code that will be displayed in the barcode. So here, item code is being shown in the barcode. You can choose to not show text with the barcode. Do not forget to save the design. Let us now preview the print of barcodes. Enter the value in user-defined prompt box. The entered value can be seen in all the barcodes. This is just a demo barcode design. Click on Open to open already created barcode designs. This is how a properly designed barcode will look like in a print. To print the barcodes, you just have to select the item. The number of labels to be printed are equal to the quantity of the selected item. You can also manually enter the number of labels to be printed here. Then click on Create. Select the design that you want to print. By clicking on Yes, labels will get printed. Clicking on No will take you to the design window. There is another amazing feature to import and export the barcode designs so that you do not have to create a new one every time it is needed. To do so, open the design that you want to export. Go to the Import Export tab and click on Export to File option. Give a name to the file and save it in your system. Similarly, to import a barcode design, click on Import from File option. Browse the file from your system and press yes or no as per your requirement. A new barcode design has been created just with a single click. Thank you for watching this video. For more software related updates, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon.